Good afternoon. I hope you can see me okay. The sun's in my eyes, so hopefully it won't be in your eyes. Um, I just still thought I'd do something a little bit different and uh, show you around my tiny garden. Uh, we moved on the 26th of January, um, and when we first got here, the garden was really, really overgrown. Um, so I've had to do a lot of sort of cutting back and taking things out and obviously a lot of the plants I've put in are new um, and I wasn't actually going to grow any vegetables this year and then a friend gave me half a bag of seed potatoes and I thought oh what the heck and once you start you kind of can't stop you just keep planting and planting so here's just a quick tour but it is it is a town cottage so I haven't got a very big garden basically what you see is what you get and I'm just trying to grow as much um, edible crops as possible in a very small amount of space which means means that I'm growing a lot of stuff in pots as you'll see so here we go um, and excuse the mess because the dog has got a paddling pool and she keeps dropping a stick at my feet because she wants to play so anyway here we go uh, so coming up from the front door I've just got um, some alpine strawberries in a pot that are not doing particularly well come on camera focus they were a housewarming present. I think it came from Tesco's. They are sort of coming up, but I don't think I'm going to get anything this year. They look like they want a good water. A couple of uh, trailing geraniums there in an old boot. Empty pot at the moment. Uh, proverbial mint. I think everybody's got mint in their garden. Uh, that one I've just pinched out the tips, as you see, and it's putting on some new growth already. Come on, camera. Um, then we get the edibles. Well, I mean, mint is edible, but you know what I mean. So these are potatoes. Uh, the kestrel which are first earlies I've got one two three four five pots of those uh, that's some uh, Lolo Rosso which is coming on quite nicely it needs a good water it's been a very hot day today but I'm waiting for the sun to go down a little bit more uh, then over here we've got some um, actually uh, grown from old um, lettuce stalks i don't know whether you realize you could do this but if you put lettuce stalks into water they will actually start regrowing which is basically what these are here um and there you go that's just a show so this is just supermarket lettuce um which you just cut off the end the bit that you're going to throw away anyway stick it in water and they basically start regrowing so uh, i don't know what's wrong with this camera it keeps focusing in and out um this is perpetual spinach Again, it's doing pretty well um, in there. I would just um, harvest the baby leaves to have with salad and basically um, do that all summer long. So that's all going well. This is a mystery plant. I think it's a raspberry. I found it growing out of a crevice uh, by the wall and I've just dug it out and put it in a pot. So I'm kind of waiting to see what happens with that. I apologise with the camera. I don't know why it keeps going in and out. Uh, more Lola Rosso lettuce. All doing really well. Uh, these are my tomatoes. Um, so this one is um, a cherry tomato. Oh God, I can't remember the name. Sorry about that. This one's a cherry tomato. I didn't write the name down of what it was. Both doing quite well. Um, this is a salad bowl. Um, it's looking a bit sad again because it's been a bit of a hot day today. Um, and we've had one crop off that. And um, we'll hopefully have some more. That's a tiny, tiny little bit of rosemary that I bought at the garden centre. Um, it cost me £1.95, shock horror. Uh, these are beetroot in here, which again, they're all doing uh, really well. Um, I have spaced them, obviously, spaced them apart, thinned them out. Um, same with these, these are all more beetroot. Hopefully you can see them. Okay, uh, these haven't come up yet. I only planted these at the weekend. These are carrots. These are Shant uh, is it Shantae carrots, the little stubby ones. Chanteray, whatever they're called. Uh, this is mustard greens. Again, not coming up at the moment. Only planted those at the weekend. Uh, today's Monday, by the way, Monday 21st. Um, first lot of tomato, um, tomato flowers. This one is actually money maker. I remembered this one. Um, and these are three little ones, which um, had a bit of disaster with my tomatoes. Basically, I planted. Um, two of each and uh, didn't get them <laughs> obviously didn't all come up I only had three that did okay so then I planted another three of a different variety these are actually tumbling toms so these are actually quite far behind the others but as you can see they're sturdy little plants they're doing okay uh, planted in between is some lettuce which obviously you can't see at the moment because it hasn't come up um, it's little gem lettuce in there 
um, and in this pot here these little seedlings that are coming up that's actually flat Italian flat leaf parsley coming up in there oh focus camera and um, what I'll do is I'll thin them out and pop them on into I'll leave a couple in here but the rest I'll probably um, pot on and give away to friends and that white stuff you can see is eggshells um, I don't know whether you realize that you can grind up your eggshells and put them on your tomato plants does it quite good I mean this one's actually nearly used all its eggshells um, and that's it at the moment I've also got um, I've got some spare pots these are this is the uh, well rotted stable manure that I get from a friend um, that gets it from a farmer for free so um, that's my manure I've already already gone through two bags this is another two bags that I'm working through at the moment and this is the compost that I'm using currently. I don't have any favourite compost. I just get the cheapest I can get. This one is Manor Farm. You can read that upside down. 60 litres. It cost me £2.50 a bag. So I just get the cheapest I can get. Um, so I've got plans to... I've also got some seedlings going on in the kitchen. You'll have to excuse the mess. But in there, there's some more seedlings. In there are gherkins, squash and courgette that are all going to go into pots the the um let's turn the camera around so you can see me the courgette and the squash are um you know small varieties basically for um pots you know to, to grow in small spaces so uh, they'll be planted out you know as soon as they've come up the gherkins are actually going to go come on camera focus over there where that wigwam is I mean, let's just go over there this is Flossy and her disgustingly dirty paddling pool. Uh, so over here is a little wigwam. Come on. So going up that wigwam will be two cucumbers, which are here. I brought them out for a bit of sunshine. So these are two cucumbers, uh, Telegraph, um, which are going to go up that wigwam, uh, with also some gherkins. At the moment two, but I have planted some more. I'm hoping to put some more up here. Um, and basically, as I said, not a lot was here when, when we came. This um, clematis was here, and it's obviously going rampant. These are my little lavender seedlings in there, which are doing quite well. Um, I think this is some sort of sedum um, that was here when we arrived. Um, that's a buddleia which I've planted. Some people don't like buddleia, but I quite like buddleia. Um, this is the other rosemary I picked up. A uh, car boot for two pounds. Look at the difference. Two two pounds from a car boot, which is massive, or two pounds from a garden centre, which is teeny tiny. So uh, yes, yeah, so I've got two on the go. Gonna have two on the go uh, with that. And then over here, I've got various things coming up, which I've planted again. The roses, I've seen the trees were here. The clematis was here. I don't know what variety that any of these are. I've planted that mullion planted that foxglove, I've planted that geranium, um, that's Michaelmas daisies, some sunflowers that I've planted. These are my sweet peas, they're a bit pathetic I'm afraid. They're not doing particularly well. They are they are trying to get going. I have um you know nipped the tops out so hopefully they'll get going pretty soon. I've got some marigolds that I've just self seeded over there, you know, just sort of broadcast the seed and hope for the best. And those are cornflowers, which are about to burst into life. Uh, that's a pulmonaria, which I bought and planted. Most of these plants I got at car boots for like next to nothing. Another foxglove. Some strawberry plants that are doing pretty well. Um, the garden was covered in strawberry plants. I've taken quite a lot of them out. Um, I think this is a fig. If, which, in which case, if it is a fig, it'll be coming out of the ground and going into a pot because I know they like their roots to be enclosed so I'm just waiting to see if it flowers or anything so I can identify it properly but I'm pretty sure it's a fig it looks like a fig anyway and that's it really oh and that's a chrysanthemum that I've bought to go in at some point so there we go that's my tiny garden these are all my vegetables and um, hopefully you found that quite interesting. Just goes to show what you can grow in a fairly small amount of space. You don't need a lot of space to grow your own vegetables. Um, and there we go. And that's just my 
little pot in area and that's my coffee and I'm going to sit down and drink it now. Anyway, hope you found that interesting and I'll see you all soon.